what I just realized? This is the 11th hour. The 11th hour of our 12-hour call for help of fawn It's like Armistice Day, the 11th hour. Yeah. And speaking of uh, peace in our time, Kevin and Sarah are going to show you how to upgrade in your PC. In the time of PC. cholera. Peace yes, in the time of cholera. Yeah, that was a classic reference nobody got. Okay. No. Kevin's like, that's funny. Uh, yeah. Not really. Ba -bum -bum. All right. What are we doing? Yes, we are installing a <laughs> CD burner and or DVD burner. These, okay. were, these were hot gifts this year. So we're ho you're, you're hoping it's a DVD burner, but it might be a CD burner. It might be a CD burner. Dan and got one, okay Keith too. got one. I, I mean, did, they did? Yeah, everybody's getting one. I didn't you get, didn't get one. one. No. No. Well, anyway. I got socks. You got more than socks. Yeah, all right. Okay, so, so anyway, uh, what, what you have to do now, first thing you got to do is you got to pop out that drive bay, which the means, empty drive which bay. Which clearly we've already done. Yes, I've already done that. You can take a little screwdriver and just wedge it in there. It'll just normally pop right out. Or sometimes the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and open the PC first and then pop it out from the inside. Well, that seems like the, the safest way to do it, but you're saying you can actually just pop it right out the front. Well, you can. It depends on the case. Depends on the case. Uh, I think right, that, actually, I, I take that back. The easiest way is probably from the inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's getting late. We've already been inside the box today and nobody's afraid anymore. Yeah, nobody's afraid anymore. So we're already inside the box. We have our empty bay and we're waiting for a CD-ROM drive. I have one. This Excellent. is our new, well, let's pretend it's new, no, CD-ROM drive. This is a DVD burner. Actually. DVD burner. Yes. DVD uh, right. plus RW. Okay. This is this is a good little piece of machinery. Yeah, we are, we've already mounted the, the guide rails here. Which is very helpful when sliding. Exactly. But uh, most computers will not have these little guide rails. Most of the time, right. you're just going to have to slide it in. Don't I have a, we have an example of yes. if you don't have guide rails. Good, good call. Let me move uh, my laptop out of the way. Yeah. So, Let's do that. So if you don't have guide rails, here's an example of a CD-ROM drive that has been screwed in from the side. These are guide rails also on this other computer if you want to see exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, so these are the extra guide rails that we were talking about. The green about. dudes. They're normally mounted inside the case like this. You can just pull them out when you need them. Uh, but basically you just screw it in, slide it in from the front, and then screw it in from the sides, and then take off the other panel mm -hmm. so that you can screw it in from the other side as well. Because you want to make really make sure that it's flush with the other drives and that uh, it's nice and secure in there. So it's going to slide in fine. You just have to take a little bit more care that it's properly mounted. Exactly. So let's go ahead and do that with this one. This one, is, like we said, is a little different. Um, we're going to go ahead and just slide it down, and it's going to lock right into place. There we go. Very well. Done. Pretty and as easy. you can see, once the tabs... Uh, are are in the in the appropriate notch. Uh -huh. You've done your deed. Yeah, you'll hear like a nice little click that happens. Mm -hmm. And then this here, uh, this is basically just an audio cable. This will probably come with with the ROM drive. Nine times out of ten, it's going to come with one. You plug it into the audio input. This is what's going to give you audio from your sound uh, from the CD to the sound card. And, and it's you, and the size is perfect, so you're, you're going to know what it is. Exactly, and that goes all the way down. If you take a look here, it goes right into our Sound Blaster card here into the CD input on the on the sound card. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yep, so that's done. Now what we have to do is, like we were talking about before, it works the same way that the hard drives do, and then there's a master and a slave. Okay. So we have two drives here because we're going to want to do things like disk-to-disk -disk copy and stuff like that. You Absolutely. Know, if you have a, a yeah. CD or DVD you want to copy. If you have a DVD burner, you want to do it right. Exactly. So uh, basically what we have here is here's our chain. This is our IDE chain. The master and the slave, we have it set to cable select, so this is going to be our master. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to pop this down in here, and if you push down in, you'll just feel it. It'll slide all the way down and be nice and snug right there. So that's again, the, again, it depends. It's very obvious where it goes. Yes. Uh, look at your existing CD-ROM drive and look for the empty, uh, empty ribbon that's coming off it. So you can see this was our existing one, and we had one extra empty. Mm -hmm. So there's always going to be two devices that can be hooked up to any IDE chain like this. Now, is your second drive always your slave? The second drive, no. It depends on how you set it. This, by chance, we have set the cable select, so it's going to start with the top as your master, and mm -hmm. the second is a slave. But you can take that little jump route right there. If you see that little jumper off the tip of my finger, yep. you can t t take that. If you were to move it one notch in, that sets it to the slave. One notch over is the master. So you can set it by jumper. So you have control over how you yes. set that up. Complete control. Great. So once you have that, the last thing you have to do is give it a little power. This, of course, is our power connector. And we're just going to push this down here until it locks into place. And now you've just given the drive power. Again, like with the hard drive that we installed earlier, we just want to make sure that there's a clear path back to our power supply. Yep. And you can use any power connector in there. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. And after you've done that, you just go ahead and close up your case, <laughs> fire it up, and then you will have a new burner. First, you have to go into the BIOS, and you have to set it to detect the drive. Mm -hmm. All those instructions are unique depending on the computer manufacturer on how to right. go ahead and do that. It's pretty straightforward stuff. And then you install the burning software, and you're good to go. That 
is easy. DVD burner, CD, CD burner, and you can do it in about uh, you know 20, 30 minutes max. Yeah, I mean, we did it in five. Yep, that's true. <laughs> it can all be yours, this knowledge, of course. We do have articles on the website, mm -hmm. so if anything went by a little too fast, you didn't see where Kevin's hands were, blah, 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 just go to techtv.com slash call for help. Excellent. Yeah. It's weird to say call for help. It is. I'm yeah, pleased the screensaver. Maybe we won't leave. <laughs> yes, stay We're here. We're your new kids. Please, you yeah. kids, you gotta Adopt leave. Adopt us. Adopt you us. You gotta leave. We can't keep. We've got keep money. We don't got enough room for <laughs> y'all. All right. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun. That's I... our last segment of the day. Is it? Well, thank you for well, being I mean, here. Well, we're here. We're around. But that is as far as installation goes. They told us to stay trip. around in case you collapsed. They said, Kevin, we need you here. He's still alive. We got you know two yeah. hours. Yeah. So you could I go don't down. I think I'm gonna collapse. I'm afraid. I, I mean, if we went another ten hours, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not even then. Is maybe the toupee glue then. still holding up? The glue is good. Okay. Everything's fine. I got a new shirt. I in honor of Mark. Poker party. I got my poker shirt. <laughs> All right. And we're going to continue. Thank you, guys. All right. The call for help a thought, hour number 11. One more hour to go. I can't believe it. Only one more hour. One hour and 45 minutes to go. You know, one thing I wanted to do from the very beginning is go a little bit behind the scenes. No show exists in a vacuum. I couldn't do this show without the people behind the scenes, behind the cameras, in the sound booth, and in the control room. We're going to do something we've never done before. We're going to go behind the scenes in a little bit. Plus, answer more of your phone calls. And have a lot more fun. Stay tuned. The call for Helpathon is on the air. Lots more to come.